Hi guys, it's Mark. And today I'm on Caleb's channel again because I'm doing a video today on buffer overflowing. The art of exploitation, aka hacking. Um, in the next video I will also be doing a video on buffer overflowing, except I'm going to be hacking Cosmos. I'm going to be writing a custom um, Cosmos OS which will be buffer overflow vulnerable and showing you guys the buffer overflow. But first you need to know what a buffer overflow is. Oh, and by the way, today I'm going to be writing this in C. Tomorrow I'm going to be going on my sister's netbook running Windows to do the C Sharp um, Cosmos thingamabob. Okay, so a buffer overflow is when you take a buffer, which is an allocated piece of memory, and it has a certain size, and you overflow it. For example, this glass, it has no juice in it, but it does. But it doesn't anymore. If we take another glass and we pour that glass into this glass, however, that glass has loads of water in it. Let's say this can only be 200 litres. I don't know how big that is. No, that's a lot. Let's say this can only be half a litre, else it blows up or whatever. And we take it one that's really big that has a whole litre in. This will cause this one to overflow. And if this was a program, the program would crash. But the use of buffer overflows in the art of exploitation, aka hacking, is to get it to execute arbitrary code, which is code that's not wanted. For today, I'm just going to be crashing because it's a lot more easier explanation-wise. Because this is a Cosmos channel, which is a C sharp channel, which means you ain't, you guys ain't going to know much about the stack and memory. I'm stereotyping here, from what I know about Calib. Okay, so um. For today, I'm going to be doing this in Nano, in Terminal, and I'm going to compile in it with the GNU Compiler Collection, GCC, which was previously known as the, G, uh, the GNU C Compiler, but then they added other languages and then it got crap. <laughs> right, so we're going to create a file called boff, which is a buffer overflow. Nano boff.c, enter, and now we're going to start writing our code. Include, and we're going to include standard IO, which is standard input and output, and then we're going to include the string library which we'll be needing for um, string copy, which is essentially the, the nasty part of our program. In, and we're going to type int arg count uh, character arg value. Okay. Boom. So this is our program so far, and we've write code. Okay, so this is our main structure. For those of you who aren't familiar with C, this includes a header file, a .h file, called standardio.h, which has loads of functions we need for the program, string.h, which is for all our string manipulating crap, basically. Int main, for those of you who are familiar with C, except uh, C sharp, I mean, except C sharp doesn't use an integer, it uses void main. Okay, so int main. So now we have int main integer arg c character star arg v blah 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 blah. That's just for command line arguments. I'm used to putting that there. You don't actually need that there. And then we're gonna have return not, which returns a value of not on the function, basically saying everything went well. I think the reason for those of you who know not actually represents fault or off or logical false. That's what it represents. So I think the value of main represents whether the program failed. And because it's not, the program didn't fail. Logically, I'd make it so the program's success, and so I'd use ones. But because it's uh, the orientation of the program has failed, we return not. Okay, so we're going to replace code with the actual code. So first we want to do printf. In fact, let's create two variables. Yeah, we'll just type printf. Printf. I'm going to do what is your name new line okay so now we've asked them what their name is we now want something to store their name and we're going to do character in fact let's predefine these variables it's a lot more sensible so rather than the order of need just do it right at the start because that's a common way of doing things character and we'll create a net we're going to create a buffer because the in fact we'll create name first so character name, and it's 20 characters long, so this is a character array, aka a buffer, that has 20 characters called name. And now we got character buffer, 20 characters long also. 
So, what is your name? Now we're going to take the user's value using scanf and store it in buffer, which the value buffer will then be stored in name, and we'll print out the name, hello name. Quite simple. So now we want to do scanf, and we're going to do, um, wait, wait, and buffer. Okay. So, if you're not a C programmer, you don't need to know what this means. This is just me showing you buffer of flow. Okay, so this will input the value, what the user types in and store it in buffer. We then want to use string copy, and we're going to store the value of buffer into name. Right. Now we're going to do printf. Yeah, I wrote it well. Okay, and then we're going to do comma. Bing, bing, bing. Now we just need name, don't we? Right, so now we're going to do hello name. Hello, crotch your ass, full stop. Okay, so let's look over the code again. Int main, integer argc, blah, blah, blah. So first it creates a character, a buffer called name, which ha has the limit of 20. 20 in memory. 20 bytes, not bits, 20 bytes. Then we create a buffer called buffer, which is just a temporary buffer, we could call it temp. This is 20 bytes. 20 bytes. Also, we say, what is your name? We insert a new line. Just reminds me, I need to put a new line there. It says, what is your name? It then stores the value buffer into name. The, not what the buffer. Uh. <laughs> they type in their name. Okay, type in their name. It is then stored in buffer. Buffer's value is then copied into, using string copy, into name. And then it prints out, hello, name. But if we put more than 20 characters in name, it will cause the program to crash, and we could execute average code, but we're not going to because we're not that mean. And because I can't be bothered. Minus O buff. Okay, so that's just, I'm going to ignore that. It's just a warning, so it still compiles. Buff. What is your name? Mark. Hello, Mark. Now, what happens if we put the whole alphabet in? Let's find out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Abort trap. The program has just crashed. So guys, that was your buffer overflow video. Now, we could, instead of putting at the end of all those crappy characters, we could put some no operation code, so nops, no operationals, and then put a nop code, cause the program to redirect the program flow, cause it to execute arbitrary code. And we could also stash some machine code in there. But today, that was not the purpose of the video. So next week, not next week, next video, I'm going to be showing you how to do this. But in Cosmos, I'm going to write an operating system that does exactly the same as this, except it's going to accept user value and cause Cosmos or the actual computer to crash. A lot more impressive. And maybe someday I'll show you how to do it out of code. This was Marco trying to add an educational side to Caleb's channel with a bit of C hacking. In the next video, we'll do some more hacking. This was a program crash. Do not run around going, I have crashed a program. Wow, you are clever. Yeah, you're clever if you know how to execute average code. But just to crash a program, come on, it's easy. And idiots who choose to use character arrays as opposed to using strings or using try and catches or some method of making sure the user types in the most because they're unsecure. Even newbie programs can be hacked. Come on, you got to write a good newbie program. Anyway, that's me out. Ciao. And we just caused an abort trap. So, yeah. It's pretty awesome, man. Give me skin. Yeah. So I'm giving Caleb a good reputation now on his channel. Subscribe to him. Come on, subscribe to Caleb. Yeah. I'm on Facebook. You want to talk to me? I'm on Facebook. Marco Alexander Reed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. However, the problem is I will not accept your friend request on Facebook unless if I know you. Unless if you've talked to me on Caleb's channel and you've said you're an awesome programmer and you're not some newbie script kitty, then I will talk to you on Facebook. Else... I'm going to set up a blog where you can talk to me on there. See you guys there. Come right, subscribe to Caleb because we're awesome people. Yeah, yeah. Peace out. And that was your buffer overflow. Check the next video.
where I stuff it in Caleb's face and hack Cosmos. Bang.